What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to my 2K16, my career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge on the PS4. And boy, oh boy, do I need some revenge at some point on John Cena. If only they would let me feud with him. But that has been, not been the case for the past couple episodes here. Just It just has. They haven't let me. So, unfortunately, here on SmackDown, uh, if I am fighting Eric Rowan... Uh, I will not be allowed to fight John Cena, who is teaming up with Zack Ryder and Heath Slater against The New Day. And, sure, okay. But more importantly, I'm stuck not doing anything between then and now, so let us just uh, hose past that. I don't think that will be any different in 2K17. I think that obviously they're stuck with having six guys as the max guys in a ring, uh, and that is unfortunately. But here's the thing. At least let me attack him during his entrance. There aren't six guys in his entrance. Let me fucking do that. But they, they, they won't ever let me do that. So that's unfortunate. Let us head here into the most meaningless match in the world against the reverse Sheamus in Eric Rowan. All right. We are here on a Saturday. I'm ranked number one. So honestly, uh, the outcome of this match, not super important. Like, unless it's going to... Drop me to rank four, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're in the first three ranks, then they will al allow you to attack the champion. The problem is they haven't been, you know, that, that hasn't been the case because he keeps on ducking me. He wants no part of the cheese. Uh, perhaps he's afraid I'll, I'll, that I'll put the game on easy and just take his damn title and win this fucking My Career Mode. Holy shit. Anyway, uh, full disclosure, I am recording this episode on Friday afternoon. Uh, because I will not be in town on Saturday, again, uh, and the same thing next week, too, so I'm kind of having this weird habit of not being in town on Saturdays. I'm not really sure how that happened to line up, but, uh, I will be out of town filming some more stuff, uh, tomorrow, well, which is now today, so as you're watching this, I will be where I need to be filming things and buying things and having a grand old video game related time as I try to do. Uh, and, you know, it's... Leaving the house is not, is not a thing I do very often because I try to keep busy making videos and playing video games. And leaving the house is kind of the opposite of that. But once in a while, and I guess more recently lately, that's been the case. Anyway, uh, in terms of wrestling news, considering that I just filmed uh, yesterday's about two hours ago, um, and it's currently uploading right now, uh, not a whole lot else has come out in that time. Uh, and I really can't afford to wait. I, I, I gotta kind of pack up my gear uh, for tomorrow. So I gotta get these videos filmed and done uh, before I do that. So there is one thing, or I guess two things. Uh, we are officially having Clash of the Champions September 25th, 25th which is going to replace Night of Champions, which was their usual September pay-per-view where all of the belts are on the line. Now... I'm wondering if it's changing, if they're calling it Clash of the Champions because it's going to be a co-branded pay-per-view. Because the way that people are currently, the, 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 the current rumors and the current understanding on that stuff is that, is, is that the Big Four, which is Mania, Rumble, uh, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series, are, are going to be co-branded Raw and SmackDown. Everything else is either Raw or SmackDown. So you couldn't have Night of Champions anymore because you wouldn't have all the champions on the show because it would be either a Raw show or a SmackDown show. So, calling it Clash of the Champions to me infers the possibility of saying, hey, well, if you got two world champions, they're going to fight. If you got the US and the IC champion, they're going to fight. You know, um, if you have two tag belts, which I don't think they're going to do, or if you have two of the women's belts, or if you bring back the Divas belt and have the Divas and the women's, which, which they had for a while, um, then perhaps they will fight. Uh, that to me, in just obviously it, it, is, it is a very old name from WCW, um, but calling it Clash of the Champions to me infers that you might be doing something along those lines, uh, and that it might be for both? I don't know. I just know that... The, the current rumor is that only the big four shows are going to have both cards. So, is this going to be another show that has both cards? Or are they, are they going to call it 
Clash of the Champions and not have all of the champions on the show? That's the question. Uh, but it, it is official. It is happening uh, in September, so I guess only a few short months to find out. And fucking Eric Rowan on his head uh, doing some bullshit. Uh, the other thing, and whether or not this ends up being relevant or whatever else, because it's usually not like any corporation to respond to rumors, but we, I, I want to say I had discussed Kurt Angle went on, on Mark Madden's radio show and said that he was in talks with Triple H and the McMahons to uh, come back in some capacity. And there was a statement from somebody at WWE saying, no, we're not signing Kurt Angle. Um, I'm not sure who was, who was authorized to make that statement or whatever else. Um, but I guess it, that, that, that you know remains to be seen. I would not put it past them being that, that it's wrestling. Uh, I would not put it past them to make that statement and then do it anyway because that seems like a thing you don't want to you, you don't want to show your hand before you're done because you obviously want it to be a surprise like that would be a fantastic surprise if we didn't know about it um so why the fuck was Kurt Angle on the Mark Madden radio show talking about it? like if it's a secret fucking keep it a secret and then make it an awesome amazing holy shit Kurt Angle left in like 06 haven't seen him in in, in a ring in 10 years uh, so it'd be cool to see him back and, like, have nobody know about it. Like, shocking returns are one of the best things in wrestling, so don't go on a fucking radio show and talk about it. Like, what, what the hell, Kurt? So I don't know what the deal is there. That's all kind of up in the air and whatever. Uh, maybe at some point we'll see Kurt Angle in either a wrestling role or a managerial role. Uh, certainly the, the, the idea has been tossed around of having him, uh, come in to manage American Alpha, but I feel like he wouldn't be bad, come on, in a part-time schedule, he wouldn't be bad to have, uh, you know, as a special attraction like Brock Lesnar, um, that'd be cool. Uh, but also, what the fuck video game, what the fuck, like, I don't even want to fight John, like, what's the point of fighting John Cena without being in a John Cena feud? I don't understand why they have to do this to me constantly so that's gonna be tomorrow I'm gonna have a little bit of a short one today uh, because uh, I've got to get some more videos done and recorded and uploaded and processed and tag title description you know all the usual YouTube shit and have those all up for Saturday uh, I've got uh, another video with Echo Ma going up tomorrow uh, that'll be fun uh, I will obviously have up this video tomorrow uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna push uh, Mario Maker Super Expert from Sunday to Saturday night because I might have some additional videos for Sunday and I don't want to overload my schedule with videos because that just always seems a bit excessive in some in some way. Like, I, I don't want to have too many videos on any given day um, because then, you know, they don't all have room to breathe. So I think three at the max, although, like, obviously E3 was a certain, like, you know, a special occasion I kind, of, I kind of went overboard on that because it was E3. You know, you kind of got to cover all the E3 stuff for E3. Uh, but otherwise, I kind of like to say, well, three at the max. If I'm throwing in like like an app slug, then four because those are real short. But three, you know, on 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 the far end is you know for the weekends, weekdays too, and even two is a bit much because considering how long some of these videos can get. But enough YouTube nonsense. You guys have already heard from me a million times before. Tomorrow I'm going to fight John Cena. Again. Probably. On Superstars. And for as much as this game will not let me feud with John Cena, I can almost guarantee you, when we hit Payback, he'll be in a title match, and I won't be able to attack him. Which, again, is going to be bullshit. So, tune in for that, I guess. I'm a tax slug. This game is fucking frustrating. More videos every day. And I will see you next time right here on this channel. In the moat!